now your local forecast on the Weather Channel. have two tropical storms and one hurricane to tell you about. Also, the potential for at least one other disturbance to develop and maybe uh, cause us at least some rain, if nothing else, over the weekend. So a lot of things to look at here. Let's start with Earl. That's the closest to the U.S. mainland. Tropical storm Earl could become Hurricane Earl within the next 24 hours. So this is definitely an important one to watch. The latest stats as of the 4 o'clock Central Time update centered at 27 north, 92.3 west. That's just 240 miles south-southwest of New Orleans and Louisiana. Winds are 60 miles per hour, and it's moving now north-northeast at 12 miles per hour. That's a slight shift from due north at, I believe, 6 miles per hour at the previous update. Pressure is 998 millibars. The reconnaissance has been in to investigate uh, throughout the day today. Take a look here at where the watches and warnings are, and you'll notice that these are hurricane watches and warnings, and it's still a tropical storm. So this is anticipating it increasing in strength through the next 24 hours. It's a watch from High Island, Texas to Cameron, Louisiana, meaning the possibility of hurricane force winds within 36 hours. A hurricane warning from Cameron, Louisiana to Pascagoula, Mississippi. You should be preparing for hurricane force winds within the next 24 hours. And obviously, that is expected where the watches are. It's still just a possibility. So from Pascagoula to Destin, it's a hurricane watch. And here on the satellite picture, the one thing you can really see from this, the infrared, is the increase in the higher clouds. So uh, it does look like it's gotten a little bit better organized today. The center is not quite underneath this to, that would show it's a, a very well organized system. The center is still off to the west. Upper level winds from the west are continuing to shear it somewhat and keep it from developing as quickly. It may still continue, however, to increase in strength. And we've already had a lot of rain with this one. And at this point, that's the biggest concern, the heavy rain and the potential for some flooding through here. Two or three inches, certainly possible already. And this will continue through the day tomorrow and up through landfall, of course. We should see extensive heavy rain. The winds, not a problem yet. Uh, the threat of severe weather, not a problem until landfall. But all of that is ahead. Hurricane Danielle took the path right toward the U.S., made the turn as expected. Looping back out, not affecting the U.S. mainland. However, it's 330 miles west of Bermuda and it will pass close enough during the overnight hours tonight to give tropical storm force winds to Bermuda. So tropical storm warnings are in effect with this hurricane. The tropical storm force winds extend out about 200 miles from the center. And this is still a fairly strong hurricane, a Category 2 hurricane with 100 mile per hour winds. Satellite picture here. You can see uh, still fairly well developed and again moving off to the northeast away from the U.S. Uh, the closest it comes to Bermuda is during the overnight hours tonight and should again be well to the north. This area of disturbed weather here and one more are the next two tropical waves that we're watching. As this one heads off to the west, uh, it could eventually bring us some at least rain, if nothing else, by the end of the weekend. So this is the next one to watch for possible development. Not really showing signs of developing quite yet.
And off the coast of Africa, we don't see anything else significant at this point. At least that's some good news. We take you to the Pacific, and we have Tropical Storm Isis now. 20.2 north, 109.5 west. It has 50 mile per hour winds. It's moving north at 9. The forecast track takes it up into uh, the Bay of California and then brings some of that moisture up into the U.S. Uh, Southern California could have some rain from Tropical Storm Isis, it looks like, as early as Friday. So a lot to keep up on. Stay with us. Weather Center's next, and John Hope will be updating you, especially on Tropical Storm Earl. Tropical Storm Earl continues to churn in the Gulf. Get the very latest on where the storm is and its impact, plus the national weather picture just ahead on Weather Center. Dogs have an uncanny sense of hearing, but they can't tell you if running, climbing, or even walking hurts or makes them stiff. So it's up to you. Dark City. you got to see it to believe it. At home on pay-per-view. Every night we find a little more out about how the weather works and how it's going to turn out tomorrow. And that's what we bring to the viewers. It's the mystery of weather. Right now it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Storm Earl tops our storm watch coverage tonight as it bears down on the Gulf Coast. Hurricane warnings are up and will also uh, get you an idea of an, how much severe weather we may see overnight here on Storm Watch. First things first though, let's check in on the tropics. And Storm Watch is sponsored by Home Depot. And we do have Tropical Storm Earl and it is uh, now nearly stationary. We got an intermediate advisory from the National Hurricane Center uh, just a little while ago and the next advisory due in in about an hour or so. Uh, every few hours now, because we do have those watches and warnings up, which I'll show you in a minute. Here's the latest as of 7. The Hurricane Hunters are out there, the Air Force Reservist, reporting 27.0 north, 92.3 west. That puts it 240 miles south-southwest of New Orleans. Sustained winds of 60 miles an hour. That hasn't changed throughout the afternoon and now into this evening. But the movement, which was north at about 10 to 12 miles an hour, is nearly stationary. So uh, a lot of uncertainty here in the forecast as the pressure has not dropped a whole lot today. Last night it was 1,002 middle bars. Tonight, 998 middle bars. Let's check out those advisories. Remember, a hurricane warning means you could be threatened by hurricane conditions in the next 24 hours. And we have those running from Cameron, Louisiana, over to Pascagoula, Mississippi, to the east and to the west, over to High Island, Texas, and Destin, Florida. Hurricane watches in effect, meaning that you could experience hurricane conditions within 36 hours. Again, uh, because Earl has now thrown on the brakes, so to speak, in the Gulf, uh, the forecast is a little bit uncertain. It is generally expected to track in this direction towards the Gulf Coast, and it could be near a landfall sometime during the day on Wednesday. That's the current uh, forecast from the National Hurricane Center. We'll keep you updated, and we'll be making the modifications throughout this evening, and we'll be with you throughout tonight for those of you watching from the Gulf Coast. Meanwhile, showers and thunderstorms, uh, again, it's not very organized. We don't have an uh, organization like we had earlier when we had more of a circular shape. You can see the wind coming in from the west and southwest side is kind of shearing on the uh, storms on this side, so we're not getting a lot of development over on this side. The center of the circulation is about in here. 
So a lot of the uh, showers, the heavy rain showers, the tropical rains are off to the north and east. And that may be the big story with Earl, the fact that we're going to see tremendous amounts of rainfall in areas like New Orleans, which are just barely above sea level, and in some cases not above sea level, and that uh, could lead to a lot of localized flooding. Most of the rain right now, though, is occurring over the Florida Panhandle. Uh, you've had a break in the rainfall around New Orleans. You can see right now a little rain from Lake Pontchartrain. And then if you're traveling the I-10 corridor tonight or tomorrow, boy, you're going to have to uh, slow down and watch out for the standing water because it is just coming right out of the Gulf right into those uh, beaches. Panama City, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, over towards Mobile and Biloxi. So again, Earl expected to pick up its movement, its forward movement, overnight tonight. Could be near the land, near the uh, coast sometime on Wednesday. We'll keep you updated and we'll get you through this. But again, heed those hurricane warnings, make those preparations as quickly as possible. Evacuations have already been ordered in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Meanwhile, as we uh, switch attention to Hurricane Danielle, not a threat to the East Coast, but it is uh, pulling away. Still some high surf to deal with. Winds of 100 miles an hour, so it's still a fairly uh, potent storm. And we do have those uh, tropical storm uh, watches out for Bermuda, although we're pretty confident it's going to continue moving in this direction and not be a real threat. There it is, spinning away. As it moves out, we can see the periphery of Earl. We do have another tropical wave we're watching very closely, bringing some showers and thunderstorms through the Lesser Antilles tonight and tomorrow. Now, ahead of it, we have a lot of uh, wind shear. We have an upper-level storm, an upper-level low. That could prohibit development, but that will pro some of this could sneak under and uh, get into uh, the Atlantic, the Western Atlantic, as we get into uh, the day on uh, Saturday and Sunday. More coming up next. With Tropical Storm Earl still churning in the northern Gulf, there are many unanswered questions here in New Orleans. I'm Jim Cantori in the Big Easy. We'll have a live report for you next on Weather Center. This program was sponsored by The Home Depot. Guaranteed low prices at The Home Depot mean that you can be confident that you're going to walk into our store and find the best price in town. And Every night we find a little more out about how the weather works and how it's going to turn out tomorrow. And that's what we bring to the viewers, it's the mystery of weather. Right now it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Hurricane Danielle, Tropical Storm Earl, Tropical Storm Isis, all having an impact on, if not the United States, areas very close to the uh, lower 48. Hi, I'm Dave Schwartz, and this is Stormwatch. We begin with our look at the tropics, then head stateside for a look at some of those storms in Michigan here tonight. Our tropical update begins with Tropical Storm Earl. This is the first of three tropical features I'd like to review with you. These are the latest data from the National Hurricane Center as of 10 o'clock Central Time, finding that there is the tropical storm. Now, where is there? Well, the center of the circulation, according to the Hurricane Center, is at 27.3 degrees north of the equator and 91.1 degrees west of Greenwich, England. And here is the west, 20 west, 30 west, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1.1 and 27.3 north of the equator, 10, 25, 27. So that's where, that's where the X marks the spot for the center of the circulation. 60 mile per hour maximum sustained wind, so it's, it's a fairly strong tropical storm, but as you'll see here in a minute, it still looks 
pretty disorganized. The center of the circulation almost 200 miles south-southwest of New Orleans. The movement, however, is toward New Orleans and southern Louisiana at the present time. And there's the estimated pressure, 988 millibars. Since the tropical storm is forecast to continue its north or north-northeast movement and slowly intensify, even though it's a tropical storm right now, hurricane warnings are in effect. That means that hurricane force winds are likely in the next 24 hours. Here anywhere from Pascagoula, so the Mississippi coast, right into Lake Pontchartrain and right around the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, while the hurricane watches are in effect slightly to the east of that. That includes Pensacola and Pensacola Beach, Destin here too, and Highland Island here, High Island in Texas. So this is the area of concern. And by the way, if you're looking at this, this is not twin tropical storms. This is a lot of heavy shower activity and squally weather out to the east all over water. By the way, there's Tampa. Here is Apalachicola, Florida. There's New Orleans. Here's Houston and Brownsville, Texas, just to get your bearings, Havana, Cuba, and the Yucatan Peninsula. A lot of heavy rain right in here, but the core of the tropical storm is right here. Actually, the center of it is probably right here in the southwest corner of all this. It's fighting some pretty strong southwesterly winds, about 40 or 45 miles an hour up here at jet stream level, and that is inhibiting this, or it's keeping it from intensifying. And that is great. That is just great news. So it's a slow intensification as it heads toward the coast. Here's that blob that showed up red here. Some heavy rain out here over the Northeast Gulf. That's heading into the Florida Panhandle and into North Florida, Gainesville and Jacksonville. But here's actually the core of the system right in there. We can pick that up on radar. We did have some downpours here in New Orleans earlier tonight, just some widely scattered showers now. The heaviest rain is out here toward Boothville, the mouth of the Mississippi, and then up toward the beaches here in Florida. That's Tropical Storm Earl. We'll get into that in more depth here in five minutes. Hurricane Danielle is posing no problem to the United States. It was approaching us for a long time, but then made that perfect turn. But now it's gotten a little too close for comfort to Bermuda. Tropical storm warning is in effect for our friends there on the island. And there we see it go. Goodbye. Get on out of here. There is another tropical wave that's putting a lot of showers down in the Lesser Antilles here. This may become a tropical depression later on tonight and tomorrow. And then there's another tropical system that is off the coast of Mexico at the current time. That is Tropical Storm Isis that could cause some... When Tropical Storm Earl makes a move, we'll know about it. Get the very latest on this ever-changing situation from the studio and in the field just ahead on Weather Center. To demonstrate the unique construction of a Simmons Beautyrest Pocket and Coil...